Lewis, welcome to Silverstone and Thank welcome you. back to the track where you won the British Grand Prix in 2008. Here you are on the back of two one twos, Turkey, Canada. Can you make it a one two at the British Grand Prix? That's our plan. That's our plan. We're working very, very hard. I think the team, we have a lot of good things in the, in the pipeline for development of the car. So the car should be even faster than it has been in the last two races. And so and we manage, we're planning to have it all here uh, as it's probably the most important race of the year for, for us as a team. And, and you're expecting specific developments for this high-speed track? Oh, we're, we're hoping we'll have developments by then, yeah. You can never, never know whether they will be ready or not. But we're always developing new things and, and there's some things you bring to, there's things you bring to the track always. But uh, they, they, you won't even see the time that it gives us. But uh, we're hoping that here we're able to make another, maybe by another, another step. If not this one, then it'll be in Hockenheim. But um, no, this is a track that's going to really suit the Red Bulls. And so we need to come up with an answer for them. Now, what about the atmosphere in the team itself building up to the British Grand Prix at Silverstone? After all, it's their home race too. Uh... Well, I think everyone takes everyone in the team takes it race by race. So, I mean, I've not spoken to anyone uh, about the British Grand Prix, but I'm, I know everyone in the team has already bought tickets. All their families are coming, so they they you know it's their home Grand Prix. They're so excited and they want to win it just as much as we do. Uh, the mere fact we've got two British drivers as well and two world champions, it's kind of it makes it even that more uh, much more special uh, special for us. So, um, no, I think it's going to be. An interesting weekend. The last times I've been here, the support has just been through the roof. Unbelievable. I'm excited for it. And we come here naturally with an extra boost uh, of energy and a little bit of time naturally. It just somehow gives you a little bit more time with all that support around the track. I think what makes Silverstone so special for me, I mean, apart from the fact that it's, it's, it's your home Grand Prix, um, for me it's the, it's the history of the place and to be honest, it's the fans. I mean, before I came here, it was the history of the place and the people that have won here in the past. Um, but now it's, it's the fans. When, since 2007, it's been the fans. Since I qualified pole that year and the roar in the place, it's been the fans. It's just the one thing you, you look forward to most. I mean, the circuit, I've always loved the circuit. And uh, it's, you know, when you're going through Cops and going through Beckett's and, and Maggots and Beckett's, I mean, it's just... Uh, such a great circuit to, to come to and then to see the British flag waving absolutely everywhere is, is the best. Maggots is going to be my favourite part of the circuit because it's so fast and this year with the car we have, with the amount of downforce we have, it's going to be, it's just going to be almost, it's almost going to be flat all the way. It's going to be incredible. And what about your thoughts on the new section of the track? It looks pretty, quite quick, and something maybe we'll be able to follow maybe a little bit better than you were perhaps the last section uh, before. You know, through, following through Abbey before was very tough. Through Bridge you could follow, but Priory was very tough. Um, and so it's a very difficult complex to, to keep close and to really have a real battle. But now it's much faster. I think you'll be able to, to, to follow through there. And then also you've got another bit long straight, which is another place to stream people. So um, I think it'll work out well. Lewis, now I know the British fans are very important to you and you always turn up at the post-British Grand Prix concert to say hello to them. What about a message for them prior to the British Grand Prix? Yeah, I think for me, well, I, every time I've come and seen the concert afterwards, uh, I don't come for the music, I come for the, the feeling I got when I first got up on stage and saw 20,000 people. It's, if for me, I, I, loving music, I can, can never really understand how it feels for someone doing a concert and being on stage, an artist. But now I can kind of get this, a similar feeling, uh, an understanding of how they feel, the adrenaline they must have when they're performing. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I would say for my fans, I would say uh, thank you for your, your letters, your, your messages, your uh, support throughout the world and throughout the year and uh, throughout the journey that I've been on uh, up into this point. And I really hope that you continue to support me and I hope that I can continue to make you proud and I'm gunning, I'm pushing as hard as I can um, myself and Jensen to, to keep the championship um, with the Brits and, um, and represent in the best way we can. So keep your fingers crossed, I look forward to seeing you here 
at Silverstone, and um, you know, we'll be we'll be rooting. Yeah, so actually, if you look up there, Luke, that's where you're going to rejoin uh, the older part of the track. It's so you, strange. Yeah. So I think we used to come through, used to come through bridge and go down to yeah. Priory. Yeah. Actually, I did my first um, when I did my first laps in the Formula One car. I did the national circuit, so I came down here. So it's going to be, it's quite a cool uh, straight to come down. So that's the Wellington Strait, and coming in here to Brooklyn, do you think there's an over overtaking opportunity here? Well, I haven't seen just how long it is, but it looks like it's it's going to be quite fast out of the the corner leading onto here. Which what is it called? Yeah. That, so this is coming. Down, this is Wellington Strait. Yeah. So you come through Aintree, Wellington Aintree. Strait, and then into Brooklyn's here, and your normal Luffield yeah. over there. But you can see this is actually quite a uh, it's clearly a very fast straight, which you'll be able to tow people down here. Yeah. But this corner looks like it's quite a, a trail breaking corner. It's not uh, it's not a hairpin, but it, it looks like it's quite a long. Uh, there's a long entry before the main uh, apex. So it looks like there's actually an opportunity to uh, drive down the inside or even follow around the outside here. And then. Back around here and along to one of your other favourites, Cops, Cops, where all the fans will be waving and chatting. Yeah, Cops, is, Cops is an awesome an awesome corner. When you go down there, especially this year, we should be flat through there nicely. We've got such great downforce in the high speed corners. So you go through there and you approach it 195, 190 miles an hour. And to have the confidence, you don't see the exit or anything, and just to turn in and know that your car's just bolted to the ground is. Oh, wow. Phenomenal. 100 miles, 190 miles an hour, your body just, everything but slammed up the side against the car. You should be out, I've been out there watching and the way you change direction so quickly, it is awesome. But it listen, is. thanks for talking to us. Great Have to a great it. British Grand Prix Thank you very and we'll much. see you on the weekend of July 10th and 11th. Look Take care. To it. Take care.